and welcome to Bella Coco. My name is Sarah Jane and I'm really excited to be bringing you a Christmas mini series. Over the next few weeks I'm going to be showing you how to make some decorations for your table, for your Christmas tree and giving you some super easy gift wrap ideas. If you're new around here then make sure that you subscribe to keep up to date with all of the latest videos. This week I'm going to show you how you can make your own napkin holders perfect for those Christmas parties or any parties for that matter. For this tutorial you will need your selected yarn, a crochet hook, I'm using a 5mm but you can use whichever hook you need um, to correspond with your yarn, you will need a pair of scissors and some darning needles. To begin making your cutlery holder you want to start off by making a slip knot and you can do that whichever way you prefer and then what you're going to do is you're going to start off by chaining 10. Now I'm going to chain 10 because this is the height that I want my particular cutlery holder to be but if you wanted yours taller or shorter you can absolutely change the start of this length. So as I say I'm going to chain 10 to begin with. 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 and then I'm going to start working my way back across this chain so I'm just going to pinch my fingers here just so I know this is my 10th chain because I'm now going to chain three uh, to begin this row and this row is going to consist of treble crochet so you're going to yarn over and insert your hook into that um, fourth chain from the hook where I've pinched my fingers Yarn over, pull through, you'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, you'll have two loops on your hook. And yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. And you're going to do this in every stitch along that chain. So I'm going to end up with 10 treble crochets. And remember, this is treble crochet in the U UK. In the US, this is known as double crochet. So I'm going to end up with 10 double crochets plus my chain 3 just here. So go ahead and pause the video, work your way back along the chain and meet me back once you've got to the end. So now once you've come to the end of your row you're now ready to move on to the second row. So what you want to do is you want to chain 3 and this is going to class as our first treble. And then instead of working into the top of a stitch like we would normally do, where it looks like you have two loops on the hook, so if we turn the work this way, it looks like there's little Vs, we're actually going to work into the back of those Vs because the look that we're going for is this ribbed stitch. So we're going to continue with our treble crochets, which is double crochet in the US. This is classing as our first stitch, so this is the first stitch in this section. So we're going to go into the next one. So it's yarn over into the back loop and then do your treble. And we're going to do this all the way along. So just working into the back loop of each stitch all the way along until you get to the very end. So if you want to pause the video and meet me back on your second to last stitch and I'll show you how to finish off this row and move on to the next one. So I've just worked my way to the second to last stitch and what I'm going to do in the last stitch which is actually the chain three from the previous row is actually do my stitch as normal. So I'm going to go into that stitch catching both loops so that it just makes it a little bit more sturdy on the very edge. So that stitch might just look a little bit different to the rest of them. So now what we're going to do is just simply repeat that. So we're going to chain three, turn the work, and then work into the back loop of the next stitch. So this is just doing the same thing, repeating the same row over and over again until you get to the length that you want. Um, and essentially what we want to do is work this until it's long enough to wrap around your napkin and your cutlery. So I'm going to go away and build a few more rows just so you can see what this is looking like. And then I'll show you how to connect it all together to make your cutlery holder. 
this is what my work is looking like now. Uh, I've done 14 rows because that's enough for uh, me to wrap it round and be the width that I want it to be. So what I'm going to do now is fold this so that um, it's facing each other and I'm going to insert my hook into the corner of the opposite side and I'm just going to slip stitch all the way down this side. So it's still connected on one side, I've inserted my hook into the other and I'm going to pull that through and slip stitch. And I'm just going to line this up and insert my hook all the way along just to connect those two sides together. Trying not to pull too tight, um, it doesn't matter, matter overly so where you put your hook. Just try and keep it nice and even so it doesn't pucker up. And do this all the way along that seam. Then once you get to the other corner, you want to make sure you're going in corner to corner. And then you want to yarn over, grab your scissors, snip off your yarn and pull through, pull that nice and tight. Then all that's left to do is just to tie in those ends. And I'm just going to flip that around just so the seam is a little bit less visible on the other side. And there you have your cutlery holder. So there you go, that is how you make your napkin holders and that is the last of the Christmas mini series. I really hope that you have enjoyed following along over the last few weeks and enjoyed making your own Christmas crafts. If you like this video make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe to keep up to date with any of my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye!